हाय एवरीवन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू ऑल फॉर योर सपोर्ट एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माय चैनल सॉरी दैट आई एम नॉट पोस्टिंग वीडियोस रेगुलरली सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स आई डिसाइडेड टू पोस्ट वीडियोस मोर ऑफ्टन ओके थैंक यू फॉर ऑल योर कमेंट्स एंड योर क्वेश्चंस थ्रू ईमेल्स आल्सो थैंक यू आई होप आई हैव आंसर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन ओके सो uh today i'm thinking to talk about file nodes in iib okay so before entering into the uh, application directly first i will try to give one small example with that you can understand the concept of iib even better okay um let's take a new one okay uh okay so this is the scenario consider we have uh, one company from the source location consider this as l1 and we have iib and we have some other companies that is expecting files from this location one there can be n number of files staying in same location or it can be a different location altogether okay we will call this as l2 company 2 which is located in l2 location company 3 that is located in l3 Uh, company four, which is located in L four, and company five, which is located in same L four. Okay, so now if this company L one in location one L one want to send files to these four locations, okay, it will be sending in this way. Okay, it will be sending this way. Th th those can be different files or same files even. Okay, so. in order to send files from this location to this location l1 have to configure the details uh, the server details the connection details everything of all this location in this system only okay instead of do instead of storing all the location details connection details everything in the in one location what it can do easy way we can bring the concept of middleware wherein we can use iib this way okay consider this is a uh, this rectangular box is iib so instead of sending it directly from l1 to l2 3 4 so on and so forth what we what l1 company can do it can only send all the files to iib okay consider this as iib it can only send to iib and ask iib to route the files based on business requirement to different different locations okay so what l1 have to do l1 have to store only the configuration and connection details of iib at its end okay iib will take the job of l1 to route it to different different location saving all of its connection details inside iib system okay so it is easy this way rather than uh, only that company sending it to different different locations it can use this middleware tool and uh, make its job little bit easier okay this is the main concept of like why we want to use file nodes from one location to other location or it can be same location different location n number of scenarios okay now we'll talk about an application we will create one application sample one and we will talk about that okay so i will create application for file nodes this will be the application name it 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 is an customized name okay we can give whatever our requirement is same name we can give okay and the message flow will be file nodes message flow okay here towards the left side you can see one palette correct here we will have what what notes that can be used in iib okay so we today we are talking about file notes so we will talk we will talk about this file palette okay we have different uh, like more than 6 here so we have different different uses of all these different different notes today we'll talk about file input and file output it says file input node is used this way i will explain better it is used node is used to retrieve the file from remote location or local location okay uh, same with output node we will also include one compute node for this okay these are the four terminals that input input node is having one is failure out terminal and end of data and cache terminal we want to use out terminal okay what is failure 
whenever there is a failure in the input message the trigger will come and fall here okay that means it will indicate that there is a um, there is a failure in the entire flow and next is out out is nothing but whenever the uh, there is no issue in data there is no issue in file it will route the file from the input location to the next node that is compute node uh, what is end of data end of data is nothing but suppose we have an consider we have an excel sheet of data where the last element is supposed to be the end of data that means it is end of the file so that terminal can be also connected to different node in the entire message flow okay catch is nothing but uh, if anything fails in the entire message flow suppose this compute node is not able to send to this file uh, directory if it fails that directory is not available in local some something some random uh, error that will be caught by the first input node only in any message flow okay that that is caught using this catch terminal okay so now we will connect uh, the out terminal to file input and this is nothing but finish file uh, terminal and we have again failure out and uh, end of data for input file as well uh, for output node as well okay so uh, what what we have to configure in file input node we'll have to uh, at least give the details of the uh, like mandatory properties okay input node is nothing but we have to tell the file no input node from where it will have to pick the and uh, pick the input file okay for instance i have created one uh, input file directory also this is the in okay these are the subfolders uh, of input directory those will be created only after the deployment but they are already created because i was doing some sample testing and all so that's why these are all created so never mind uh, so we have to give the input directory from where the file should be picked so if we have to paste the whatever file we want to process in the entire message flow we will have to place it here and then the after deployment the file input node will recognize that there is a file in this one and it will trigger the flow okay file name is, file name is nothing but the name of the file uh, why there is star means it will pick any file that is there under this location that is nothing but the representation of star okay this is the output directory same for output also there are like same properties like directory name we have to give and name also we have to give i will give a uh, power bill message something like this this is the output file that will be created okay and for input you should also select the input message domain like in what should be the data format and all i will save this and i will write small code for the small snippet in esql so uh, what what i output i want to generate using the input file okay i also want to create one xml data dot power bill comma i mean full stop and i want to send it for flat 101 okay what i want to send whatever came from input i want to send the same thing consider for now okay xml nsc and input should be this one okay always make sure what input you have and what you're coding in uh, esql that will not that will avoid most of your uh, errors okay so whatever is whatever units are coming from input i want to send the same units to uh, the output saying that is the power bill for flat one okay mm let's deploy and see if it get deploys without any error else we will see okay it got uh, deployed successfully so i already have a sample file uh, file one.txt i will paste the same file in the input directory okay copy i'm pasting it in the input directory whenever the message flow will pick the file from this location the file will get disappear it will get processed okay if you see paste for refresh it is disappeared okay that means this file uh, this message flow has picked up that file okay now we will because we are not doing any debug we have to see in the output location whether the flow executed properly or not 
as we expected out 101 is our output directory so we will see if any file okay power bill message is the file name that i have given in the property file name property so the same uh, will come we'll open and see what is the output okay output is power bill for flat not uh, flat 101 is 520 okay this is how we can use file notes and to uh, if we want to add any condition okay for this one I will add one condition as well okay I want to check if at all if it is only flat 101 in c dot this is flat 101 okay if at all if it is flat 101 then what i want to do i want to multiply uh, i want to multiply each of the unit with 9 that means what are the units from input it's 520 520 into 9 that should be somewhere around some 4600 some change so that should be our output we'll see if it is executing okay um, one more quote is missing so save and I will try to deploy it is deployed so file one we will copy from here put files copy this file one paste it in the input directory if you refresh it will be picked up by the flow it is picked up and in output directory we'll see the output uh, this is not overridden because if you see it is in the last uh, this file got created at uh, 328 that means uh, it didn't execute we'll see why it didn't execute may 9 into this one okay maybe we'll do it this way control x declare units i'll give it as units um i want to beat an integer i want to cast the input as integer okay to multiply it with an another integer it should be our same uh, uh, data format okay it is saying something this is missing and then here i want to multiply it with units okay so uh, the same this uh, 520 is going to get stored in this units variable and the same variable we will use it to multiply with 9 okay if i save it okay it is not showing any error before that i will delete this one from the eg now i'll deploy the same message flow into the test server eg okay it is deployed successfully so now um i will paste the file one copy and i'll put it here paste okay now we'll see in output what is the output okay uh, 1532 that is nothing but the same one so i think it it worked i want to override yes okay why it asked for override means because i'm i want i'm using the same file number for the next trigger as well uh, same file name so it is saying the previous data will be overridden by the new data that is created using the message flow yes 4680 is the correct one so it worked okay this is how we route the, and process the file using file notes um, so this is how we process and use file notes in iib and uh, uh, suppose consider we have n number of apartments in one uh, in one apartment we have n number of flats okay suppose there is consider there is one more uh, sub element called flats okay and in here we have like n number of and inside this we have like one more uh, 
suppose consider we have like this n number of flats and this is 102 103 104 105 and uh, so on and so forth okay uh, we can uh, we can route it to different locations suppose there are like multiple locations like out one out 101 out 102 out 103 flats in a row okay uh, so we have to use this message flow to send the power bill to all the uh, flats in the apartment so how do we do that using one file note if we can use multiple file output nodes all that we will see in next video because that's going to be a long video uh, so uh, in the next video I'll post how we can use all of those okay so for now these are like basics that any beginner can learn using file nodes how we can use file nodes and what is the purpose of using file nodes if I missed anything let me know and if you like the video please like share and subscribe also I will export this uh, message flow or application I'll export to one github URL you can access this from that and if you have any questions and uh, if I make something wrong you can also suggest me like saying this is wrong this is right through an email uh, I will also share the email ID in the description box so you can you always have access for my to send emails okay so thank you so much for watching bye everyone